بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد we've discussed in the previous lecture regarding the dangers of the heart in misleading the human being inshallah today we will discuss about the virtue of the heart the virtue of the heart and the beauty of the heart in things that it can do to please allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it says ومن طاعة القلب الايمان بالله and in the, the 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 virtues of the the heart is believing in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wal yaqeen being certain having certainty that each and everything that happens it happens uh, because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to happen in the power of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also being very firm in your belief is known as yaqeen and also amongst the things that the heart is known for or the, the beauty of the heart is al ikhlas being sincere no one will know what is in your heart you could do something to show off others but no one will know or will judge what is in your heart that judgment is left to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa tawadu and also being humi Uh, humility or tawadu or being very humble towards others thinking good of other muslims and also that comes from the heart wan nasiha lil muslimin advising good behavior towards other muslims thinking good towards others not not considering yourself better than others and also was sakha generosity also comes from the heart wa husnu dhanni thinking good of others wa ta'zim sha'air Allah amongst the things that uh, the heart the virtues of the heart is wa shukru ala ni'am Allah thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you it comes from the heart a beautiful heart will lead you to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all the blessings the eyes the hands the ears the legs uh, and also the biggest blessing is that one needs to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for is kal islami being a muslim being chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be a muslim it is a biggest gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you wa ta'ati being obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, not disobeying what he stopped you to do what he to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us and uh, to to refrain and stop from doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want us to do and also wasa'iru an-ni'ami wasa'iru an-ni'ami thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all other blessings around us having children is a blessing having a mother is a blessing being a muslim is a blessing praying on time is a blessing knowing quran is a blessing reciting quran is a blessing praying in the masjid is a blessing having your eyes ears hand legs to be able to walk alhamdulillah you should thank allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that comes from a good heart was sabru ala al bala being patient when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests you with a um, uh, different kind of test then you need to be patient mithlul amrad for example if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests you with illnesses and different kind of uh, sicknesses or death of loved ones you need to be patient it needs a lot of patience because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is testing you sometimes um, you will lose someone who is so beloved to you so close to you but as, as a good muslim a, a person with a good heart that is full of belief of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need to be patient knowing that what we say inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un these are the teachings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he says alladhina idha asabathum musibatun those who have been tested by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when a test come to them then what do they say an example if you lose your beloved person what do you say inna lillahi we belong to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa inna ilayhi raji'un is the one who's brought us here and we, to him allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we shall return each one of us will return to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala some of us will return early others will return late now being patient and also 
والصبر على الطاعة ها على البلاء والمحن وموت وفقد المال making a loss in your businesses and everything is also a test because the wealth comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he can test you sometimes he can take a little bit away from you and see how steadfast you are because some people think that they are giving it uh, to themselves and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests them they start being depressed stressed and everything why because you never came with anything to this dunya you came empty handed and then when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is given you and now when he takes part of it to test you and then you start being depressed losing sleep and everything and being on antidepressants and other things thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the little that you have if you are healthy and everything and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you even more and also wa tasallutu nas wa sabru ala ta'a and also being patient in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that comes from a beautiful heart waking up for salat al-fajr he needs patience paying zakat he needs patience paying too much money to go to hajj he needs patience and giving in charity he needs patience huh? leaving your sleep at very difficult times waking up in salat al-fajr he needs patience that is what is known as sabr as sabr ala ta'a and also was sabr an al maasi being patient in not uh, being disobedient, uh, committing sins. Because sometimes you want to go with your friends to bad places and you want to do something with girls, with this, that, the other. But you're refraining, you're stopping yourself because you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is also part of a beautiful heart that is leading you to do good. to be rizq, to have firm belief that be rizq min Allah, that rizq, the food, the sustenance come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That comes from a beautiful heart. Because otherwise other people think that if they don't work, or if they don't do anything, then uh, they, they will not be able to feed themselves. You are not feeding yourself. The, the feed, going to work and all these things, these are means of getting the rizq. But you are not the one who is feeding yourself. It is through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to have firm belief in your heart. That it is Allah who is the giver, Allah is the taker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who makes people rich, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who makes people poor, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who blesses people with life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who takes life away. So to far from believe, and also not to have dunya in our heart, hating the dunya, having dunya in our hands having akhirah, the love of akhirah in our heart. But unfortunately today, we have the love of this dunya, the short life in our heart, the eternal life, the true life, where people never get old, where people never die, where people never get sick. The true life, we do not prepare properly for it, and also we do not even like it. But we love dunya so much, even money from halal, haram, everything. You want to gather as much in this dunya, knowing that sometimes even tonight, if you sleep, you might not wake up. But yet, we have so much love for this dunya. And also, is a person, a sign of a good person, to hate this dunya, not to have too much love for the dunya. Wa to nafs. Being enemy of your own soul because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says one soul mislead them and take them to do, go, uh, ro, uh, do bad deeds. So uh, stopping yourself, your own self, the nafs, your own nafs and also being enemy of the shaitan. Not allowing the shaitan to mislead you in stopping your salat, in eating haram, in doing haram, going to places that doesn't please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is part of having a beautiful heart and also muhabbatullahi wa rasooli loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala feeling the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart and the love of the Prophet sallam, it will enlighten your heart and it will enlighten your life this was sahabati loving the sahaba of the Prophet sallam, the companions um, uh, loving to know the, the history and how they succeeded in this life and to follow in the footsteps you will also succeed inshallah وَأَهْلِ بَيْتِهِ Loving أَهْلِ بَيْتِ the, the, the family of the Prophet ﷺ والتابعين, The followers of the Prophet ﷺ It's part of having a beautiful heart And also what was صَالِحِينَ Loving good people The sheikhs, the ulama um, uh, Loving them And wanting to be with them Learning from them uh, That is also part of 
having a good heart that is hungry from a beautiful knowledge and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa rida anillahi being uh, happy with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you to be satisfied with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also wa tawakkulu alayhi and also to be dependent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala everything of your life leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to lead it hasbunallahu wa na'mal wakil the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best of being dependent on because he will never let you down and also doing all the good deeds wa ghayri dhalika min alwajibat al qalbiyya and all other important things that the heart is required Uh, the, 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 to save the heart uh, the obligatory things filling the heart with beautiful things and taking all the filth out of the heart um, that is the beauty of the heart inshallah we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to beautify our heart with good amals with steadfastness with patient with the love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the love of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah guide us all inshallah give us a beautiful heart that will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it will be a mean for us to be guided in this dunya and also to be loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, also to be blessed with jannah in the hereafter wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam